Hey world, Chatty Dad One back with you again. After the information I just showed you, this here comes as no surprise at all. No surprise at all. Please prepare. Please prepare, y'all. What more proof can you ask for? What more do you need? What more? I mean, for goodness sakes. These are the only ones that can bring a three what was it? Three million man army? Thirty million man army, something like that. Unbelievable amount of numbers. But this is what we're looking at. Everybody come and get a piece of the pie. Everybody come and get your piece of the American pie. Because it's here. It's for sale. And doesn't look like... Nobody's going to stop it. Except for you and I. The Oath Keepers... And other great Americans who are going to have the guts to stand up and not let this happen. What more do you need? What more do you need? I'll give it to you. How much more do you need? I mean, please, tell me. Please tell me, how much more do you need, America? These people threaten the nucus. They've uh, threatened to wipe us out. And then you got, um, this ain't even it. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Look at that. We know they've been here. 
I've told y'all that they've been here. They've been training. We've done everybody except for going and slap people in the face with a frickin' Russian Kalishnikov for a Chinese assault weapon. When's it going to stop? Where are we going to draw the line? I had to draw a line tonight. I did. I had some hooligan, hooligans down the road. I thought they were stuck because I heard tires squealing and all this kind of stuff, and they was on the side the edge of my land. Thought they were stuck. Went to go walk down to help them, or to see if they needed any help anyway. Heard one of them coaxing my dog. Then I heard him threaten to hurt my dog. Went and grabbed my firearm. Stilled myself beside the road. Sat there for another ten minutes watching and listening. Then they finally seen me when they turned their lights on. After about two minutes with their lights on, they saw me. Said, hey boy, come here, I want to talk to you. And I'm sitting there, squatting down with my double barrel shotgun as Biden says to do right in front of my house and the freaking guy guns his vehicle and does a fishtail and I thought for a second he was going to run me over run me down never raised my firearm Stayed as calm and cool and collected as possible. He pulled up beside me and said, Oh, crap. Uh, we're sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Needless to say. I don't have to worry about them boys anymore keeping us up at night or threatening to hurt my dog or hurting my dog. I've been hitting him with a stick in the head. And there were four of these men and they were shaking. I stood alone beside my dog, ready to defend my family and my home. Told them I didn't mind them hanging out, even in the yard, but to please be decent. Don't yell. Don't threaten my animals. Don't hurt my animal. Don't hurt my dog. Don't scare my family. 
Here it is past midnight. And these guys are squealing tires and all kinds of stuff. Just being jerks. Stand up for what's yours. No one else will. No one else will. Your family needs you to be strong. We need you to be strong. We're facing a surmountable force right now. And they're all coming to get a piece of the pie. It's getting close. Never give up your guns. Never surrender. Bow the ammo. Prepare as much as you can. God bless and God help us all. This is Chatty Dad 1 over and out.